Good morning, everyone. Look at this. Everyone's bringing me a basketball. Milo! Magnum brought that basketball. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> Sunday, it's uh, Sunday morning. Just got done cleaning the landmines. <laughs> now I've got to go in and eat breakfast and clean up the upstairs. Downstairs of the house looks nice, all decorated and all, but and clean. But the upstairs is a disaster. Do not dig, Milo. No, Milo. Magnum, no. They've been digging up. There must be a path right in about here, all the way this way. Um, they're constantly sniffing. So there must be a tunnel from a rodent because over here, where is it at? Oh, right here. Right here they were digging. Right here they were digging. <laughs> there must be some kind of tunnel system from a rodent right around here. Because they're constantly wanting to dig in this path and sniffing it. Yes. You're tearing up the pretty lawn. It's not very pretty right now. It's turning a little yellow because it's cold. I think it's about... I think my phone earlier said it was 37 right now and it's supposed to get up to 52. Yeah, so I've kind of like... Gotta keep watching them so they're not tearing up the yard, making a big mud pit. Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah, so today I need to clean the upstairs. I'm thinking about showing you guys my mess up there. I mean, it's really a mess. <laughs> it's really a mess. Um, and it's gonna take me a while to get that cleaned up. And I'm really, I've been procrastinating since I decorated the house for Christmas. I'm doing it. So I just don't want to do it. So. All right, I'm gonna go in, eat breakfast. What are you doing over here? You guys trying to get Marley? I'm gonna go and eat breakfast. I've got to give pills to Mozzie. I've got to give Milo his pill and Max his pill. Max is taking Apoquil too. Um, so I've got to go into the Schnauzer Pharmacy <laughs> and get pills. Mozzie's still doing good on his. A pill for Cushing's. Um, I scheduled him appointment. Oh gosh, I can't remember what it's for. In December sometime, because he has to get a test done after being on that medication for a month. So Milo goes next week to check. When he went in um, to get some vaccinations, and I talked to them about him getting on Apoquil for because he was chewing his feet. They found a little teeny, not even the size of a pea, a really small little bump on one of his toes, on the inside of his, to uh, one of his toes on the back foot where he's biting. Um, they don't know if it was just from him biting his feet or if he has a little cyst in there. So um, they wanted him to come ba back in in three weeks to get his, to recheck that, see if it's still there. Um, so he goes the second, which I believe is Wednesday this week. Um, <coughs> excuse me having some sinus problems um and then december 9th i scheduled milo an appointment to get his teeth cleaned so if that little cyst is still there um which she believes it was or from chewing his feet she didn't know um when he gets his teeth cleaned if it's still there they can remove it so yeah so we have milo with a couple appointments coming up and then mozzie to get blood work done so Yes, there's always a couple uh, vet appointments every month. <laughs> so, yes. It looks like these guys want to play. Where's Grant at? Well, he's over there. He's over there smelling under the pine tree. So, all right. I'm going to go in. Getting a little chilly. You guys ready to go in? Are you guys ready to go in? Not really? Huh? Not really? You ready? Okay. Let's go in. Let's go in. Mom's got to get to work. Yes, I got to get to work. I really don't want to, but I do. All right, we'll be back, guys. Okay. Let's go upstairs. I got to go upstairs for a little bit, guys. I got to go do some work, so you're going to have to stay down there with Dad. 
All right, let's go upstairs and show you the mess I'm working with. And as you can see, right away going up the stairs, I just flung all my empty Christmas boxes and um, this stuff right here to put away into the storage room, which is right over here to the right. Um, I don't know. I think I, I did. I showed the upstairs in a house tour, I believe, when we first bought the house. But straight ahead was my son's room. The door is broke. It's laying over there. Um, we've got to get it fixed. Um, when he moved out, it it broke. I don't know what happened when he was opening the door. So that was my son's room here. Um, this is a finished attic, so the ceiling's slant. Um, so you got to be very careful up here, uh, being tall like I am. <laughs> I hit my head constantly on the side. So, and then out here is just like a, I guess you could have it like a little living area, but my son never really had anything out here after he moved. I moved the kitty boxes over here in this little cubby hole. Um, because they were in this room where there's a short little door. Um, you can't make a regular size door there, obviously, because of the slanted, slanted ceiling um, and the stairwell there. So um, it's kind of a pain. You got to hunch down to get into the storage room. Um, so brought them out here since no one's living up here right now. Um, so they can get, we can get to them easier. Just right up the stairs and there it is. So. Got to do some stuff in my son's bedroom. I've got to take some stuff out of there. I've got to, let's go in the storage room. <laughs> this used to be nice and neat until Christmas happened. Um, this had a door on it, but it was kind of flimsy door they had here. So I just hung a tension bar and hung a curtain here because with the cat's litter boxes used to be in here. It was easy for them to get in and out and I didn't have to worry about a door shutting over to where they couldn't get in there. So since we don't have a basement in this house, we used this room for all our extra storage, which is, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed because <laughs> I'm pretty neat usually, but, um, <laughs> yes, I just kind of threw everything. This is where my Christmas stuff was always stacked nice and neat. But of course I had to get in there and dig everything out and I just kind of flung everything around. <laughs> so now I need to tackle this. I need to uh, go through the rest of my Christmas stuff, see if there's anything I want to get rid of, um, what I want to keep. I need to reorganize some other stuff and go through it. Um, yeah, so I got a big job. <laughs> ahead of me of getting this organized and getting the crap that's out in the middle room there back in here um so yeah plus I have another Christmas tree box downstairs I need to bring up that one I was using um how Marley what do you think you're doing you snuck through the cat entrance well now I know I gotta fix that and make it a little tighter so you can't fit through there you naughty boy. You couldn't help. No, this is why cat litter's up here. No, you do not go try to get that cat litter. Dogs are never up here. He's like, wow, this is a whole different area. Whole different area. <laughs> You're a naughty boy squeezing through there. Now I'm going to have to fix that. Look at Merlin. He says, what are you doing up here? What are you doing up here in my domain? This is where I come to get away from you. Well, I better go fix that. Let's go downstairs. I got to throw this box away because it's empty. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Come on, Marley. Yes, and this also got broke. The hand rail. Uh, when he was moving out, carrying stuff down. Broke that. Oh, teenage boys, I swear. See how I have the cat, the cat entrance um, cable tied? I thought I had that over far enough to where the cat could just squeeze through, but obviously, go through Marley. Show me how you get through there. Oh. Obviously, <laughs> obviously,
obviously I need that over about, I need that over quite a bit. So I better work on that. <laughs> So I don't have schnauzers joining me upstairs oh. where they're not supposed to be. Yeah. Oh. All right, let's fix that first. All right, guys, I'm getting there. I don't know if you can tell or not. I still have a mess over here. But I've got all my Christmas stuff, all the empty totes from Christmas, and everything put away uh, over there. I got to get my wreath bag put over there. Um... I feel like I'm making a bigger mess <laughs> than I'm doing cleaning up. I've got some stuff out for donations. I've got stuff I'm going to see if my son wants out here. I got stuff pulled out. I've got a still. I don't know if I'm going to do it today. I need to decorate the tree at my husband's office, but at least I've got all these boxes cleaned out. And most of them are empty because um, they're for when I pack up Christmas. But I've got everything. Let me see. This is kind of a small room. I've got everything organized over here and cleaned out. Um, now I've just got this mess to go through. And then I feel like I made a bigger mess out here. This is a bag of ornaments for my husband's tree. This is some stuff I'm going to see if my son wants. Um, there's some things, uh, or fall decor I need to put away. This is my decor I have usually every day that I need to put in this box. So when I take Christmas down over there on the shelves, there's some fall decor I need to pack up. There's Christmas gifts over there. I still, oh, I still need to carry these in. Totally forgot about this. I need to carry, um, these Christmas ornament boxes in there and stack them. I've got these stuffed winter schnauzers. I had them sitting out, but my boys think they're toys. So yeah, so I'm gonna pack those away because I don't want them to ruin them. And then I've got some random uh, trash and donation stuff. So yeah, I, <laughs> I know I'm making progress, but it may not look like it yet, but I am. But the boys were just screaming. And it's lunchtime, so I'm going to go downstairs, get them out of their crates, because no one's home right now but me. Um, and let them go run around outside and I'm going to make myself lunch. Alright guys, Ooh, I'm sweating. I am done. This took me about three hours and that was with taking a break to feed the dogs, feed myself, and take them outside. So... This room is all empty except I organized and I'm keeping all my Christmas gifts up here because no one comes up here anymore. Um, so I'm going to keep them there and I figure since my wrapping paper, um, gift boxes, gift bags, all that are in the other, in the storage room, I'll just wrap everything up here on this bed. Yeah. <laughs> so I put our luggage in this room and... Um, I figure that can stay here. Not that we travel that much, but if we had to go somewhere, it's easier to grab if it's in here. Um, all that's in here now is the table. My son had his TV on, um, his old bed, and a fan, and his tassel I found on the uh, uh, t uh, TV stand thing here he was using. So I figure I'll just wrap presents on this bed. I keep the window open like I don't know if I already said Merlin likes to lay up here and look out the window so <laughs> um these two closets I moved this curtain that was to the storage room over here so um because the storage room gets pretty cold just to have some more airflow to get the heat so I just stuck it here for now these two closets I use for um emergency prep stuff I have some containers that you can buy that have um food that is shelf stable for 25 years. You just add water. I've got four buckets of those, um, both 30 day supplies. We bought them um, for each one of us. There were four, uh, now that my son's moved out, there's three of us living here now, but we had one for each of us. And I've just got emergency supplies um, stocked in these closets in case the world goes nuts. <laughs> Whatever may happen. So 
Of course, the door is still here. We're thinking about not even putting a door back on right here to my son's room and having a door made for this door here. If you can see up here up top, because of the roof angle, it's at a slant right there. So we're thinking about buying a, a real wood door and cutting that there and just having a door right here. So if we ever sell this house, um, this could be considered just one big bedroom, like a little living area, like for a teenager or whatever, um, like a little living area where you could put a TV, a futon, some bean bags, whatever, and then the little bedroom area there. So we're thinking about just putting a door here and then we've got to eventually get something made for this entrance here. So let me show you. Okay. I can actually walk in here now without tripping. Look at this big area. I've got, I've got some extra appliances over here. I put a blanket there because uh, that door doesn't go all the way down. So cold air comes up from under there. So I put a blanket there. Um, I got this pretty much organized. Half of this stuff is stuff my daughter's been collecting for whenever she moves out. And the other half is our stuff. Um, all my Christmas stuff is over here. Thanksgiving, Easter is over here. My husband's baseball cards he used to collect with his father when he was younger are here. And then these are Christmas dishes and Thanksgiving uh, dishes. So everything. And this is all my decor for when I pack up my um, Christmas stuff. So that'll be gone. But actually got everything pretty much organized those are two air conditioners we use up here in the summer everything's organized and I can walk in here I won't trip on every anything it's all put away like I said we use this uh, room here um, for storage because we do not have a basement in this house we do have a huge crawl space you can basically almost stand up in it. It's not a typical crawl space. It's pretty big, but I really don't want to climb down there <laughs> on a step ladder to get down in there and get stuff. So we use this for our storage room. So I am done. I am done. I even cleaned the cat litter. So I'm going to go get the boys and take them outside because it's like 54 degrees right now. And they're going to love getting out of their crates and go run around. When I said they were screaming earlier, they were really barking. Because Amazon Prime came in, uh, dropped some deliveries off, and that's why they were barking uh, when I said I got to get downstairs because they were screaming. I didn't really mean they were screaming. I meant they were barking. <laughs> I call it screaming because there's seven dogs barking, and it sounds like screaming to me. So, all right, let's go get the boys. All right, you guys ready to go outside? excited to be out of their houses and get outside yes I'm glad to be outside it feels nice out because I'm so hot <laughs> like I said I think it's about 54 right now yeah it feels good to me it almost feels like it's in the 60s to me because I'm so hot up there mo moving stuff around I know I'm gonna need my uh I'm gonna need my heating pad tonight I can tell you that right now <laughs> What's that over there? A rock? What's that, Magnum? Did a rock? Look. Is that a rock? He's trying to get it. <laughs> no, no, Magnum. You don't want to pick that up. You don't want to pick that up. Watch out. A rock came loose from the... There you go. You don't want to mess with that. No, you don't want to mess with that. Yeah, the rocks sometimes... Milo! Leave it alone! <laughs> Milo, it's not a toy. <laughs> Sometimes when they're up here sniffing, they get the rocks out of the border here. All right, you guys, uh, you guys go run around and do your business so I can clean it up. Yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, just one of the many things I got to do around the house. I know a lot of people think, "What are you so busy doing?" Well. That's some of the stuff I got to do. And of course, I did create the mess myself <laughs> and didn't clean it up as I was moving along. But um, 
That's it. And then tomorrow, I already decided tomorrow I'm going to go. I got to decorate the tree at my husband's office, decorate his office up a little bit, um, clean it. Um, yeah, so got that to do tomorrow on Monday. So hopefully you guys had a great weekend. Uh, I had a really good weekend. Had a great Thanksgiving. Um, we ordered the um, Thanksgiving feast from Bob Evans. I didn't even have to cook. We just ordered it and oh my God, it was so good. It was so good. We usually go out to eat on Thanksgiving. It's kind of become a tradition. Uh, Max, what are you doing? What are you doing, Max? <laughs> These dogs. They're just like little toddlers that you gotta watch constantly. Magnum's trying to pick a rock up. Max's trying to get in the fire pit. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, we usually go out to eat for Thanksgiving, but our governor closed down indoor dining again. And I'm not gonna go into that. Let's just say I'm disappointed. <laughs> I was very disappointed, but we ordered their turkey feast. We picked it up the day before Thanksgiving and um, all we had, oh, hey. Grant said you're getting a little too close, Marley. It's okay, Grant. He wasn't trying to get you. He just wanted to sniff what you were sniffing. They get into little tiffs like that every now and then. He just says, hey, back off. <laughs> He's kind of grouchy like Magnum. Magnum's kind of grouchy too, but... Anyway, so yeah, all we had to do was heat it up. What do you want? What do you want? Okay. He needs to stretch his legs. Yeah, it was so good. So good. The turkey was so good. Um, came with turkey, ham, mashed potatoes and gravy, corn, green beans with ham, um, rolls, an apple pie, a pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread. Um, Am I missing something? Did I say mac and cheese? Macaroni and cheese. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. Um, so, all right, guys. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and enjoyed your time off if you had time off from work. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.